Yes, that is exactly how I would like my TV to sound every single time I turn it on. And welcome guys to my review of the LG Star Wars Edition C2 Evo OLED TV. This is an awesome looking TV and also just an awesome looking presentation. Now, this is based off the LG C2 OLED uh, TVs that came out earlier. This is just a Star Wars variant and it has, of course, a different pricing. Now, if you're getting the regular C2 OLED, uh, you're going to be paying about $2,299. This is $700 more at $2,999. So we're going to look at what actually comes with this and if it's worth that extra $700. So first of all, it's the packaging, right? You, when you unbox this device, you see Star Wars all over the place. It says Star Wars on the packaging, and that is very nice. Now you open it up, and this is where you get more of that customized experience here. Um, besides seeing, of course, you know, Darth Vader all over the packaging itself, you agree with what I would call a gallery of galactic proportions that actually houses a lot of the images that you see in your artistic gallery on the device itself, and also your certification of authenticity, which shows you the number at which your device was produced and how many are there. There are only 501 units available, and my number was 183. Now this also comes with Star Wars stickers as well. So you have stickers, of course, for Rebels, uh, for the Empire and things like that in, in there. And um, that, that's actually a very cool thing. Now, unboxing this was pretty easy and simple, very quick setup. Uh, I would say though the TV is relatively light. That's one of the best things about it. And looking at the back of the TV, I wish they could put this in front, but there's really no way. You've got, you know, a lot of Darth Vader's signature all around the back. Once your TV is set and you turn it on, this is where you get start getting some of that experience. You get, you get that startup sequence that I showed you earlier at the very beginning of this video. And then you walk into the LG uh, WebOS system. Now, I feel WebOS looks kind of cluttered, although it runs pretty fast and smooth. But while you're using and navigating with the remote control, you do have, of course, the magic wand feature. And your wand that shows up on screen is a lightsaber. Of course, Darth Vader's red lightsaber, which is pretty cool. It kind of makes me think maybe they should make a Harry Potter variant of this TV or something like that. But you get the idea. Now, speaking of the remote control, this is a very nice solid remote. It feels kind of hefty in the hands, but pretty nice. Uh, it's all black at the very bottom says Star Wars. And then right above that, you have, of course, the, all your apps quick access. And then you have all the buttons in black, except the ones for the microphone and the mutes that, of course, have white lettering across. Now, hitting the home button takes you back to that WebOS main menu and can navigate through your applications uh, in and out. You also have um, a source button, which allows you to quickly go from uh, connection to connection. So as you can see, I have my PS5 and Xbox connected to the TV. It's a very fast and fluid experience to actually use that. And of course, the setting button takes you to the main settings where you can go ahead and customize that. That's an overlay on the left-hand side of the TV. So you can go into gallery mode, and this takes you to, uh, of course, the picture gallery, which LG is known for with their OLED TVs. And this is something where you can cycle through some of the normal picture galleries, but you do have two galleries for Star Wars. So you have one that uh, contains images from the movies, uh, especially, of course, the older movies, which had more of Darth Vader. And then you have one that has a lot of sketches with the, uh, you know, TIE Fighters um, and, and just other sketches throughout Star Wars, which is pretty cool to see. And this is a great thing to have as a gallery, especially there. So I think that is an added experience with the TV set. When it comes to just using it as a television, uh, this thing works really well. As you expect with LG's OLED TVs, you have some really great functionality with it. One of that is, of course, while you're gaming. Whether you're your PlayStation 5 or your Xbox, uh, you, it will automatically switch into the game mode where, of course, HDR is turned on. But you also have uh, something really cool. If you hit the settings menu, that brings up the game bar. And there you can customize your gaming experience. You can go into the, the settings for your gaming settings. 
You can change, of course, uh, the uh, brightness level, the darkness level. You can turn on, uh, you can see if VR, VRR is on. You can also change your game settings to match uh, different games like RTS, FPS, and so on and so forth. And also you can switch to AMD FreeSync, but I had nothing with FreeSync. So if you're using a PC that has an AMD graphics card, that will work. This also supports G-Sync as well. So when you're gaming, as you can see, whether I'm playing on my PlayStation 5 or my, um, my Xbox uh, Series X, you can see that it actually follows and matches what uh, is going on on screen in terms of just giving performance. So you can see I'm doing 60 frames per second, playing Forza and VR is on. Same thing with playing um, Horizon Forbidden West. It's also about, you know, 59, 60 frames per second. VR is also kicked in as well. So those are really cool. Now, in terms of game streaming services, Stadia is one of them that's available on LG's WebOS, as well as also NVIDIA GeForce Now. Now, Stadia works really, really pretty well and plays well. All you need to do is connect the Bluetooth controller and you are good to do a go. Even watching content on this is vibrant. Now, the one thing you notice with all the glares because I was watching it during daytime while I'm always recording, and this is what you get. We know LG OLED do a fantastic job at night. I really wanted to showcase daytime recording, and you can see, even though I have shades down, I have some higher windows, once the light comes in, it can deter a bit. It's much better with just watching regular eyesight. The camera doesn't do it as much justice as possible. It's still pretty bright. And you can change between those uh, viewing settings like Vivid, Cinema, or Cinema Home. Uh, Vivid, of course, is the brightest settings there, and you can also go ahead and calibrate it too. But for normal viewers, you guys should be going through the settings, but honestly, you need to watch it at, on Cinema Home if you want to really enjoy that experience with Dolby Atmos and Dolby, uh, Dolby Vision as well with this TV. I think the overall package of this TV is very nice and solid, including the audio from the inbuilt speakers. <laughs> Now, listening to that, you're getting a good audio experience. You do have to crank it up to about 50%, and it's not as bass heavy, but it still does a good job if you don't have a sound bar yet. Now, leaving you with the final thing that this TV does is once you turn it off, it basically will tell you, may the force be with you, and kind of concluding your viewing experience. Now, the main question here is this, is it worth the extra $700? For what you have with it, I say, no, nah, not really. I mean, there's nothing there that truly adds $700 worth of experience. But if you are a Star Wars fan, it does add a lot of Star Wars features into the TV set that is actually worthwhile as a Star Wars fan. So if you want to pony up that extra seven, you can, because there are a few, uh, it looks like there are a few TVs available. I just checked the LG uh, website while creating this video, and I saw that, yes, some are available. So if you want to pick one up, Go ahead and do that. And if you want to still pick up the, the C2 OLED, which is a great TV, go ahead and check that out as well. So stay tuned, guys. I'll have more TV coverage. I have the A95K coming up, which is a QD OLED TV, as well as also we're comparing that to the other QD OLED and the C2 OLED to see which is actually the top dog in this category. So if you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and Always enjoy your entertainment.